Hello everyone and welcome back to Agent Tips. I'm Zed Dev and if you believe AI should be your partner, not just a tool, you're in the right place. This is Agent Tips where we master AI agents. Let's dive in. But before we get our hands dirty, let me tell you why this matters. We're not just looking at another developer tool here, we're witnessing the birth of truly agentic programming, the kind where your terminal becomes your co-pilot, your debugging partner, and your coding mentor all in one. And I've broken it down into four easy to navigate sections, so you can jump straight to what matters most. Don't wanna watch the whole thing? No problem. Use the time codes in the description to skip ahead. Here's what's coming up. First, Warp AI installation. Second, user interface and features. Third, proactive versus reactive agent behavior. And finally, we'll build and test a real REST API with Warp. Important, the official download link for Warp 2.0 AI is right below in the video description, so you can follow along or try it out yourself. Let's get started. Open your web browser and go to warp.dev. That's W-A-R-P dot D-E-V. The moment you land on the page, you'll notice something smart. The website automatically detects your operating system. Whether you're on a Mac, Windows, or Linux, the big download button is already customized for you. Click that main download button. The installer file will begin downloading. Once the download is finished, locate the file in your downloads folder and launch it. The installer will now guide you through the process. For Mac users, a window will pop up. Simply drag the warp icon into your applications folder. For Windows users, the setup wizard will start. Just follow the prompts and let it finish. For Linux users, you'll have a .deb, .rpm, or app image file. Install it with your package manager or make the app image executable and run it. With installation complete, it's time to launch Warp. Find it in your Applications folder, Start menu, or wherever you launch your apps. When Warp opens, you'll see one final step, authentication. This connects you to cloud features like AI command search and session sharing. You can sign in using your Google account, quick and secure, your GitHub account, perfect for developers, or use your company's single sign-on or SSO. Choose what works best and follow the simple prompts. It only takes a few clicks. And just like that, you're in. Warp is installed and authenticated. You're ready to code with AI at your fingertips. Welcome to a smarter terminal. Okay, okay, hold up. You are not gonna believe this. Guess what? Claude 4 Sonnet is now available for free right inside your terminal, thanks to Warp AI. And I said for free. And that's not even the whole story. You also get Google Gemini and OpenAI's absolute beast models all packed into this gorgeous terminal on Windows 11. This is Agent Tips, where AI meets productivity. Let's do this. Now this is where it gets good. Let's pause here for a second, because this is where Warp AI truly stands apart. Most AI tools are reactive, they sit back and wait for you to tell them what to do. But Warp is proactive. It anticipates your needs based on your Git activity, commit history, and even your project's current context. When you first install Warp AI, you'll see four cards appear on your screen, each one showing how Warp can help. The first card walks you through building a full snake game in Python with an agent, end to end. The second card, and this is key, digs into your Git history, automatically detecting your current project, analyzing your recent pull requests, and even offering to launch the most relevant branch based on your commit messages. Yes, without typing a single command, it finds your last 10 commits and suggests how to move forward. The third card helps you style your terminal with a matrix-like custom theme. And the fourth card? It lets you define your own task and pair it with an agent on the fly. This is not just an assistant waiting to be told what to do. It's a tool with initiative, 
A coding partner that recognizes context, surfaces insights, and offers solutions before you even ask. This is what we mean by agentic behavior. Warp AI isn't just smarter, it's aware. And that makes all the difference. Warp is the first terminal that feels like a slick IDE, but it thinks like a coding partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you heard me, a coding partner. You just type, fix this bug or create a GitHub action and the AI agent just wakes up. It's context aware, it's smart, and honestly, it's scary accurate. Okay, let's talk about the heavy hitters you get to play with. This part is just insane. First up, Claude Four Sonnet from Anthropic. Fun fact number one, get this, Claude Four Sonnet can read, analyze, and reason over the entire Harry Potter series in a single go. We're talking 200,000 tokens, the entire series. Now, just imagine what that means for your giant, messy enterprise code base. Yeah. And fun fact number two, this one gets me. It's trained to be, quote, harmless, helpful, and honest. It will literally try to talk you out of doing something dangerous with your code. It's like having a little guardian angel on your shoulder going, uh, you sure you want to RM-RF that code? I love it. Next up, Gemini 2.5 Pro from Google DeepMind. Fun fact number one, impressed. Gemini is the only major model trained to be natively multimodal from the ground up. That's not a small thing, folks. It's not bolted on. It was born this way. It thinks in text, code, images, audio, and video all at once. Uh, wait, what? Its reasoning over spreadsheets and JSON is so powerful, some analysts are actually using it to replace SQL queries. I mean, come on. My mind is kind of blown. And of course, OpenAI's O3, O4 models. I like the sound of this. The O series models are trained to think more than they talk. They internally map out reasoning steps before spitting out a single line of code. It's strategic. It's smart. And this is where it gets really useful. These models can write entire multi-file applications from one prompt. And you can refactor it all using Warp's inline AI diff viewer. You're not flying blind. You are in control. But here's the real kicker. This isn't just a chat bop on the side. This is different. First off, multiple AI agents at once. You can have one chat fixing a bug, another writing tests. It's like having a team of junior devs who never sleep and never complain about your coffee. <laughs> and get this, instant model switching. Use Claude for that deep philosophical code problem, then switch to Gemini for some structured data output, then pop over to OpenAI for some creative refactoring, all in the same window. And plus, inline code diff previews. The AI shows you its suggestions side by side with your original code. No more mystery meat. You see exactly what's changing. And my favorite part, full autonomy control. The AI suggests, but you decide. You have the final say. Total safety, total power. Don't believe me? Just watch this. I'm going to type. Star, generate a REST API in Node.js with Express. Whoa, okay, and there it is. The code is generated, but look, here's the diff preview. I can see exactly what it's doing line by line. No blind trust here, I love it. I click apply. Hey, if you made it this far and found this useful, you already know what to do. A like and subscribe would be amazing so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay sharp, stay agentic. This is Agent Tips.